Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, The Ultimate Survivor Africa. This is the channel from Africa, and this is the channel that is done by an African. We talk about everything that takes place in Africa. We talk about nature and conservation. We talk about tourist destinations. We talk about uh, the current affairs of Africa. We talk about anything that you think of, the celebrities of Africa. We cover everything as a whole, like in Africa. So if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing and activating the bell icon so that you don't miss any video that comes from the Outreach Survivor in Africa. So in today's video, we are going to talk much about the dangerous animals of Africa. We are going to pick one animal from the big five. The big five is the animals that were considered to be dangerous and endangering the lives of the people in Africa. These are the animals that include the lion, the black rhino, the buffalo, the elephant, as well as the leopard. So in today's video, we are talking about the lion. What is a lion? This animal is included in the big five because it has killed a lot of people in Africa. And uh, most of those people are sometimes hunters or people just walking in the bush or anyone doing safari, be it on foot or on vehicles if you are not careful. So in today's video, we're going to cover everything that you need to know about a lion and all the necessary uh, procedures that you need to follow to avoid the encounter or the close encounter with the lions. And also want to tell you what to do if you happen to be face to face with the lion. Okay. So the lion is one of the biggest cats, I would say. This is the largest cat in Africa. Larger than any other cats that you can think of in Africa. And in the world, it comes number two after the tiger. The lion is very dangerous. Lion has got a king, it's a male lion. And a lioness, that's the female lion. The babies are called the cubs. Those are the cubs. When exactly? do people get to be injured or to be mauled by lions when they are doing safari, game drives, walking safaris or hunting. Each and every year we've got a number of hunters coming into Africa to do what we call the hunting safari. They are coming to shoot some animals that are found in Africa of which it includes lions. And we have seen quite a number of people being successful in hunting their lions and getting their skins back home and their skulls and the teeth and the claws and whatsoever. But let me tell you the truth. Nature has got its own way of defending itself. Sometimes we have witnessed a number of uh, hunters being mauled by lions and whosoever is accompanying that hunt. That's when the lions will charge at the people and at the end of the day will injure or maybe kill the people who are involved in that hunt. So. This happens especially when you shoot and wound the lion. The wounded lion is very, very unpredictable and is very cheeky. By the time you're trying to follow the lion, what happens is that at the end of the day, the hunter becomes the hunted. And we find the hunters being mauled by the lions, having some severe injuries, some of them being killed by lions. Number two, we have people on safari especially the walking safari. If you don't know how close to get to a dangerous animal, please don't dare do the walking safari. And in Africa, we do walking safaris with experienced guides who will be carrying some rifles to defend whosoever is involved in that walk. But if you don't have an experienced guide, and if you don't have that knowledge of approaching dangerous game, don't ever dare take people on a walking safari because at the end of the day, you will jeopardize your job and you will put the lives of the people at risk and you end up killing people or involving people into a dangerous scenario where they are killed by dangerous animals. We have seen uh, safari guides walking close to a lion and they don't even know to predict when the lion is angry, when the lion is about to charge, when the lion is not so happy or not comfortable with people being so close to it. So please, take note. Each and every time you embark on a walking safari, you have to know that you are having a qualified someone. And number two, you have a backup rifle that will make sure to stop the lion before it charges or before it kills a person. So like in Zimbabwe, I will talk about Zimbabwe much. This is where I am from. In Zimbabwe, we've got a law or the rule that allows a hunter, that allows a safari guide to shoot and kill a dangerous animal when it's causing danger to the lives of the people, when it's destroying property 
And uh, what we normally say is that the onus of proof of killing such an animal lies to the person who killed it. So if you are a safari guide, you must make sure that you are killing an animal that is causing danger to the human life, that is destroying property. Don't just shoot at an animal randomly because you enjoy shooting at an animal. So what I normally say, I emphasize on this. Don't get too close to a dangerous animal up until you provoke it. Make sure the animal is still comfortable when you are walking, when you are approaching it. Don't just get close. If the animal is uncomfortable, stay back, stand back, and please be the commander of the crew that is behind you if you are a safari guide. You have to talk to your clients, tell them what to do. What should you do, let's say the lion is charging at you? Should you run away? That's a question. I'm for the nearest tree. Running away is not an option when it comes to lion charges because there isn't any human who can outrun a wild animal. So what should we do if the lion charges at us? Should we just stand and wait up until we are eaten into the bones? No, there is something that we need to do. Stand your ground, look at the lion face to face. The eye contact is the most important thing when it comes to animals charging at you, especially the lion. Just give him the eye contact. Don't ever look sideways. Don't ever turn your back and you start to run. Don't ever look elsewhere. Look at him as he charges. Stand your ground. Make some noise, very loud noise. And also command your group members to make some noise so that the lion becomes scared. And also, if you are standing as a group, you appear as a very huge something and uh, that will frighten the, 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 the lion or the wild animal. Raise your hands as high as possible so that you appear as a very huge animal that is so fierce. And please, make sure that there isn't any single person from your group who will run away. Because most of the time, the animals charging at people tend to run after those who are running away. I've witnessed a scenario whereby some people were charged by an elephant. And what happened? One of the girls stood up, started to run. Then as she was running, the elephant started to run after her. And it left all those people who were standing, who were sitting, and ran after the person who were running away. And that's how you get to be injured by the wild animals. If you run, you are a target. So stand your ground, make some noise, and please try by all means to be bold enough you know that it's so scary sometimes when the animal is charging at you. But stand your ground and try to be bold enough. Number two, what should we do? If the chance permits, if there is enough distance, please look for a tree. What type of a tree can you look for? If you just look for a simple tree, you are in trouble. Because simple trees are easier to be climbed by lions. I've seen lions climbing up the trees, especially the trees with the branches that are hanging. They just climb easily. So try by all means to look for a straight tree, like a palm tree. I think that would be an, a, an advantage. Try to climb up a tree. But in most cases, when a lion charges you or an animal charges at you, you don't have that chance of running away. So the best medicine is standing your ground and trying to scare him away and try to deter him. So if that lion doesn't get scared or he doesn't deter, what should we do? Most of the times when we are in a walking safari, there is a safari guide with a rifle and he's got his uh, right hand man. This is his backup man with the rifle as well. So there is a warning shot that you need to shoot right in the air. That will be very loud. Sometimes the lion will just turn around and start to run away and you find a way of escaping. But in most cases, the lions will just come at you. That's when you will try by all means to go down on your knee 
time to aim at a lion and you shoot at him. But that's not what we emphasize, that's not what we encourage. Because the animals are living in the natural habitat, that's where they are found in the wild, in the national parks, wherever the game reserves. And we people, we are intruders there. So that's why we try by all means not to bother the animals. We try by all means to leave the animals as they are. So retreating is the best medicine. While you're still giving a lion the eye contact, try by all means to retreat. Move backwards slowly with your group. Move backwards slowly up until you open up a gate of escaping. And please, as I said earlier, always give a wild animal the escape route. Most of the animals attack people because they are cornered. So it is a way of opening up the way for an escape route. Because they are cornered, they don't know where to go. What will be very easier is to come for a soft spot that's a human being. They come after you because they want to escape. They want to open a way for them to escape. So don't corner an animal. Yes, we know it happens sometimes, just coincidentally, that you just find yourself cornering an animal. You're just walking and you don't even know that the lion exists in that corner. And you find yourself like at the close contact with the lion. Yes, it happens, I know. But try by all means not to corner the animals. Try to give them space to escape and try to give them a chance to think otherwise. Or else they will just think of attacking human beings. I hope you are still together. If you are still together, please write in the comment box, we are together. And write in the comment box, I am copying. And please, if you are new to this channel and you just trained, joined us, please don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell icon so that you don't miss our future videos. The likes will also try uh, to promote our channel a lot and also don't forget to share these videos with your friends and family and those who love to learn much about nature so please we are in africa the ultimate survivor africa we're still talking about the lion when should you be cautious when you are approaching a lion number one it depends with the social structure if you are approaching the lions with the cubs those are very, very dangerous animals. They are very dangerous lions because they are protective. They are trying to protect their cubs. You have to be very, very cautious when you are approaching such lions. Please, you must know that. Whosoever, even a human being, is very, very protective when it comes to their young ones. So you can't let anyone play around with your baby because you don't even trust them. The same applies to the lions. When you approach them with their cubs, the first thing that comes to their mind is that you want to harm their cubs. So they are very protective. At least you have to be very, very cautious when you are approaching such uh, uh, lions. The lionesses with the cubs, they are very dangerous. Number two, the lions when they are mating, they are very, very, very dangerous. They are very harsh. They are very, very vocal and they can just harm anything that comes close to them. So please, if you see a lion that is mating, do your safari, photographic, videographic, whatsoever with caution because anytime they can charge at you and they can kill you. So they are very, very unpredictable. Number three, when the lions are feeding, on a lion kill, you have to be very careful. Those lions are very, very aggressive because there is competition when it comes to feeding after a kill. The female lion will go and kill, then the male is the one who will start to feed on the carcass up until he is full. Then after that, what is left over is what is being devoured by the rest of the group. And uh, if you just happen to step your foot there, at the end of the day, you'll be part of their lunch. So if the lions are feeding, please, you have to be careful and you have to be cautious. Number four, is it number four, right? Yeah, the lions, when they are fighting, when they are fighting, when the lions are fighting, there is a lot that happens, a lot of damage. So if you happen to be in between these lions, you are dead. You die for sure. And uh, you know, some of the lions that are very dangerous, these are the nomadic lions. What are nomadic lions? These are the young, the youngsters, the young male lions that have been kicked off the pride. 
they've been kicked off the pride. They are trying by all means to look for the pride of their own and they are learning their hunting techniques. So hunting will be very difficult for them because they have been used to being fed by their mothers. Now that they are kicked off the pride, they have to look for their own food. So they just find whatever is easy to them. We have seen them feeding uh, like uh, from the leaves out, feeding on anything, the eggs, whatever comes their way. So that means a human being will be a very, very easy target and that's a very, very easy lunch or dinner to them. So don't come close and don't just play around with the nomadic lions or the young uh, male lions that have been kicked off their pride. So please, I'm warning you, if you're coming to Africa, these are some of the things that you need to take into consideration, especially those who are doing the what we call the self-drive. You hire a car or you rent a car here in Africa, be it in Namibia, in South Africa, wherever, and you are driving through our national parks, be it the Chobe National Park, wherever, in South Africa, in Zimbabwe, Zambia, wherever you, you'll be driving around. Please watch out of these social structures that I've just mentioned. The nomadic lions. Number two, we have the lions with the, the lionesses with the cubs. Number three, we've got the lions that are mating. Number four, we've got the lions that are fighting. Please be careful and be cautious. Be warned. So this comes from a true African. So you are hearing and you are getting this from the horse mouth. I was born and raised in Africa. So I am the outdoor survivor. See you in the next video.